Um, okay, so today we are going to uh, model the aggregate production planning problem using Python, uh, Python's library that is called as Perl. So as you know that we can solve the aggregate production planning problem using the um, optimization method that is called as linear programming problem. So, so the model which I am going to solve is that is called as the model one, which is the fixed workforce model. Uh, fixed workforce model means that we are assuming that there will be no hiring and firing allowed during uh, the time period. So which means uh, the only parameters we are considering that is the production unit production cost, the holding per unit holding cost, uh, so regular uh, labor cost, overtime labor cost, labor cost. So we have the forecast demand. Uh, we have uh, how many men are required to produce one unit. So these are the parameters, as well as total men, uh, regular men are kitne uh, available. So how many overtime labor are available? So what is the initial inventory? So time period horizon and total number of products so these are the parameters and we have three decision variables three types of decision variables actually so x i t i is here is indicating the type of products mean number of uh, either we are talking about the product one product two or product three where is the t is representing the time period so that means if i am talking about x one one that mean i am talking about product one how much quantity we should produce of product one in time period one similarly x12 means how much quantity should i produce um, of product one in time period two and so on so that means depending upon i and t so the number of decision variable we can calculate similarly we have the inventory we have the regular men are uh, how many uh, labor uh, regular men are we are using and how much overtime we are using okay so this is the linear programming maths model this is basically that we want to minimize the total cost that is this is the production cost uh, this this one CIT is a per unit production cost XIT is the quantity produced in time period T this is the holding cost this is the regular a production cost this is the overtime production cost so in constraints we have uh, inventory balancing constraints so what is the inventory balancing constraint that the inventory in the last period plus quantity produced in this period minus inventory in this period must be equal to the demand of this time period and then this is basically a capacity constraint the second one is basically the capacity constraint so mi is the time we are using to produce uh, the quantity mean the per unit uh, quantity minus regular time available and overtime production time available okay so this is basically the capacity constraint and then we have seen that how much regular time we have maximum available so these are the upper bounds constraint and how much overtime we have available and in the end we have the non-negativity constraints. this is a linear model and according to this linear model they have given us the data so remember that right now although this model uh, is shown that i is representing the type of product but in the given data example uh, so there is only a one product we are assuming only one product okay so that means so we can skip this summation or you can say we can skip this i ith summation so the now the model is only with respect to the t right so the demand is given for jan feb march april may june so for the six months demand is given we have given the production cost holding cost regular uh, overtime main are this one so we can use this data set uh, and as well as this model to model with respect to the python as you can see that we have the initial inventory so this it is indicating uh, if we are in a january so that means how much inventory we have in december so we will assume that that inventory is already given which is three 
so that is the initial inventory that was given is three so we are interested to find out uh, the rest of the part what we are going to be find out how much quantity we should produce in period t how much inventory we should hold in period t okay so then what is the regular main hour uh, labor hour required uh, how much the overtime labor hour we are we would be required so using this data right as well as the initial inventory data value so i will follow this maths model to model using the uh, python uh, programming problem uh, the using the library of uh, that is called as uh, that would be called as uh, the that would be called as the python library right okay so uh, so in order to do that first of all we need uh, we have written down the name of the model which is um, aggregate production planning problem fixed workforce model so we can rename it okay once we did that <clears throat> so in a Jupyter notebook the first is we are calling the library pulp okay and then we are declaring that uh, list so in a list basically right now january february march april i am indicating with respect to the numbers okay so zero is representing december one is representing january two is february march april may june right so this is basically indicating the december month okay the rest of the thing is this is the data set which we have already given that is basically uh, this one uh, this data set that is given so how much demand is given in January February March how much unit production cost so this data set I am using in order to do that um, I am using uh, the dictionaries concept so demand in month one means in January how much demand is there in February what is the demand in March what is the demand so this is a demand dictionary Similarly, we have indicating the unit production cost. So in month one, what is the unit production cost per unit production cost? In month two, what is the unit production cost? So we indicated the all the parameters and the data that was given. So the next step is we are going to set the problem. So in setting the problem, what we will do, so whatever the name you want to give it, like right now I am saying in prop variable, save the lp problem that is a name of the function from the pulp library uh, and this is you can say you can write down the name of the model or you the name of the problem which you want to solve so in double quotes whatever you want to write down so i'm writing i am solving aggregate production planning problem fixed force um, fixed workflow model and then comma and we are writing down what what would be the problem mean we want to minimize the uh, uh, objective function so that's why i'm writing to lp minimize okay the next part once we have set the problem now we are going to define the decision variable so that is xt i'm indicating that is lp variable dot dst that is a function of the pulp that is quantity produced so which means xt is indicating the quantity produced in time period t and what's the lower bound which is zero right and so you can also indicating the upper bound that is none and whatever to be uh, uh, whatever you want to declare but uh, so there is no need because this is we are assuming the continuous so no need to mention that <clears throat> okay similarly it so we have declared it we have declared rt it is the inventory in period t regular production in period t overtime production in period t okay then once we have defined the variable now we are going to declare the objective function mean because we are going to calculate the objective function so in this variable we are saying prop plus equal means calculate the objective function and add into this variable that is called as prop and we are calling the function of the pulp that is lp pulp okay so then we are saying unit production cost which we have defined over here unit production cost i is right now indicating the time period t so t is a dictionary here which is indicating the time period so right now i am saying 
uh, unit production cost in time period i multiply by quantity produced in time period i for i in t i colon sign which means so only consider those elements from that time period list that was starting from one to onward don't consider the zero because the zero is the initial inventory time period and we don't want to consider into calculating the objective function right if you also see your linear programming problem for that that was always start from time period one to capital t capital t means that is up to june okay similarly we are calculating the holding cost we are calculating the regular uh, regular time period cost as well as overtime cost right so we have four factors we added that one okay now we are going to write down the constraint so in constraint we are mentioning that the initial inventory that is at time zero okay so that was given which is three next we are writing down the inventory balancing constraint so in which we are saying for i in t1 from like start from one so prop plus equal xt so that means what what it will, will do uh, so when the i is equal to one i t i minus one minus one that would be zero and i t one so which means xt is one i t zero minus i t one so inventory in time period zero inventory in time period one equal to demand in time period one similarly it will go for time period 2 when when the i is equal to 2 so it would be production quantity in month 2 uh, this would be month 1 this would be month 2 this would be demand in month a uh, month 2 similarly for month 3 and so on okay so this one is a capacity constraint so the loop will work same like the above this one is the regular time required to produce Reduce the quantities okay so this is the upper bound for the um, regular production time and this is the upper bound for the overtime production so once we have written down the constraint then we can simply call the function of the bulb like problem dot solve it will give you answer either one or minus one which is indicating whether the solution you are able to or you can say the pulp is able to obtain uh, the optimum solution or not and we are uh, then calling the function called LP status prop means is the solution is optimum. So that the solution is optimum. And now we are writing down uh, the answers of the variable like V is prop dot variable again the function of the pulp. So if the answer of those variables are greater than zero, then only show those answer. If the answer is any of the variables is zero, then don't show the, those variables whose are having the answer is zero or less than zero. So means zero. Okay, so then we are saying print value. So this is indicating how much inventory we should take in month period one, how much inventory we should uh, be holding in month two how much inventory we are holding in month three so there is no five and six month inventory so that means in uh, may as well as in june there will be no inventory in the uh, we are holding no inventory similarly over uh, time labor how much quantity we are producing in month one how much quantity we are producing in month two and so on and in the end we are writing down printing the value of the objective functions this is a total aggregate production cost Hope you understand. Thank you so much.